everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make some embellishments using the Maggie Holmes collection. So here are the four that I am going to make. These were made on my road trip that I vacation that I just took recently. I brought all my stuff in the car while my husband drived and I made these four. Uh, these are the four that I we're gonna make right now. So what we did, what I did was we're gonna make rosettes. And I'm sure there's so many videos out there of how to make rosettes, but this is the one that I do. This is the method I use in creating my rosettes. Just crinkle and hold, crinkle and hold, then staple. Just like that. And then using a, I want to make them smaller, and so using a 2 inch punch, I punch out a circle, and then I cut around it. I know I can cut the crepe paper in half and make it a smaller uh, rosette, but I don't really, that doesn't work for me. I've had a lot of people tell me that this is, it takes longer, but for me it doesn't, it really doesn't. And if I want them all the same size, I feel like this is what works for me. Then I put another circle on top, and that circle is a one and a half punch. There it is, one and a half punch and just hot glued it on. So I made four different colored ones. I made a white one, a pink one, a purple one, and a teal one. And this is the one we're gonna make right now. I already pre-cut and did all the stuff that needs to be done and put it in a little Ziploc baggie. As you can see, those are the elements that we will be using. So like I said before, I was on my road trip and I made these as a prototype. I have a meetup coming up and I want there's 25 of us so I had to make 25 of them of each of these little embellishments and package them up and that's what I'm going to do here and they're slightly different the ones that I end up making just because I cut I did my prototype and then when I decided which ephemera I wanted to use I printed them a little small and then I once I got home, I mean, there's only so much you can do in a car on a road trip, so when I came home to my craft room, I I found out that I wanted a different embellishment and a different ephemera in a different spot, or flipped the other way around, so that's why it kind of looks different. The one that I'm making right now, it has a little label that says ice cream on it, and then I did the ice cream cart. Like I said, I printed it a little smaller. But yeah, that's kind of what the difference is between these. Is It's either mirror imaged or made smaller or bigger or stuff like that. Or there's another one. I think it's the that big black and white big top castle. I mean, tent that's right there. It's a little different. Like this one, now we're going to do the, the horse, carousel horse. And as you can see, the horse is facing... To the left and the one that I'm going to create I printed up a different horse and it's going to be facing to the right and these tiny little things were so fun to keep track of while I was fussy cutting a couple of them and then the Cricut cut some other ones but yeah just adding layers and embellishments and I use my Daiso stapler to staple a piece of trim that I think I got that from Craft Purge from Tony. And then what I did on here is I used a candle instead of the original prototype one that was just cut out. I used a horse and I used a candle. Now if you know a candle and hot glue together it melts it so I had to hold it for a while until it dried and it actually worked. I was very surprised. I thought it was going to melt but it did. I was very happy and satisfied by the way it looked. There we go, adding some, a little star and then the flower. And this meetup is actually a floral carnival. So I am so excited to see the interpretation that different women make with floral carnival. And from what I've seen, sneak peeks, there you go, see it's a mirror image and a bit smaller. I'm excited to see how many of us use the Maggie Holmes Carnival 
I mean, carousel collection, because that's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. And th I think this one is another one of my favorite ones because it has the Ferris wheel and the teal big top ephemera piece on there. I really liked it. And those little tiny pom-poms. As you can see, I used like three different staplers on here, two different scissors, different kinds of glues and pop dots. So yeah. Then I used this metallic thread that I bought at Joann's. Shout out to Ara the Paper Treasury because she introduced me to this. She sent me a couple of embellishments that had some of this thread and I absolutely loved it and I picked it up in pink and I think I need to go back because I need white, I need pink, uh, purple and blue and let's just say I need all the colors now because I'm addicted to this thread. It's so glittery and shimmery. So I just took a piece of it, rolled it around my fingers, and hot glued it onto the piece. There you go, see? A little different. The tickets on the left it, on the prototype was printed, and the ticket on the right is one that I picked up from a craft store, and it's dope. It's like a pull-apart ticket sheet. And then this one. This one's my favorite, too. Can they all be my favorite? I think, yeah, they're all my favorite. I just like them. Anyway, here's a piece of ephemera, and that one says date night. The one that's on the original one, I think it says, like, take it to a balloon or something like that. Take it to a balloon? What the hell? Okay, a ticket, and then there's, like, a little girl holding a balloon. And that was part of a pull-apart sheet, a printable one that I got. And so different embellishments will have different kinds. So like I said before, I made 25 of the pink, uh horse carousel one 25 of the teal ticket one 25 of the ice cream one and 25 of this black and white big top I made a hundred mini embellishments yep because I love tiny little embellishments that giraffe is gonna go perfect there and somebody gave me these little gold uh, bows I want to say it was Tawny again because she gives amazing things in her little swaps and I thank you Tawny they were exactly 26 I think so I got to keep one for myself but I put him on the giraffe so here are the embellishments that I made now in order for me to package them up I wanted them to each have a backing so I punched out a circle from a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to add them to the back of them of each of them to cover the staple that was originally holding the the crepe paper rosette there you go because on those circles I'm gonna add a, a repositionable sticker so that when they take them off of their package they don't rip and I will show you the package in a moment of which ones I use. It's a box of repositionable stickers from that I got from Hobby Lobby. So yeah. Putting it all together. Excited, excited, yes, okay. And then what am I reaching for now? Oh, yes, okay. So I made some treat topper, treat bag toppers from my Cricut and a little banner. I grabbed my cellophane bag that I bought from Daiso. Daiso? Daiso? I think it's da Daiso, but I say Daiso because my daughter's name is Daisy. So if I'm saying it wrong, I'm so sorry. I'm just so used to saying Daisy. Anyway, so we're gonna measure our paper. And this is simple printer paper that I have because eventually they're just going to throw it out if they decide to use the embellishments. So I didn't want to use any real thick cardstock. So yeah. Shout out to all the ladies who have embellishments of mine and they don't use them. Because I know what it feels like to hoard embellishments. I've, got, I've been gifted some and I don't want to use them. So I know you're feeling and I'm very honored. Thank you ladies. So I bought that little pink foam roses from the 99 cents only stores. This is the repositionable adhesive that I have. And I really like it, the stickers, I mean. 
So I grabbed a sticker and put it on each and every one of them. And it has a little backing on it as well. So that you can take it off and stick it where you need to. There we go. And then I'm going to position them on the paper to see where I want them to fit in. Here we go. And I kind of forgot what was going on in this video because I recorded it one day and then I did a voiceover on it like a week later. So forgive me if I don't know exactly what I'm doing or what's coming up next. There we go, peeling off the, the backing and just placing it on. And it's, like I said, it's repositionable. It's my favorite. I know that sometimes we put um, like a strong adhesive on it to hold it, but then when we rip it off to use it, it kind of peels off the paper that it's on as well. And this is the one that I found the best. And then there we go, slip it into the bag. And then I'm going to, excuse me, <clears throat> I'm going to score the middle of that treat topper because my Cricut, I feel like it doesn't uh, score it very, very well. Is it, am I doing the, the scoring pen wrong or is that how it originally is? It's always been like that for me, so I don't know. And then we're gonna grab another stapler because one can never have enough staplers, right? Staple it, and it didn't work, so I grabbed the other one. And I love this little tiny stapler from, again, Daiso, Daiso. I love it. It's so cute. And then adding my banner to the front for a nice little carnival touch. Like I said, this meetup, I'm so excited about it. I... I'm part of the, uh, the group um, SoCal Crafting Meetups for Southern California. And it's not a planner group. It is a crafting group. Yes, there's a lot of crafting uh, a planner girls there, but it's more crafting. And we have meetups every so often. And it looks like this year a lot of girls wanted to host one. So here they are. I have to make 25, but I'm down three. Thanks guys for watching. Here's a couple of close-ups of each of the embellishments. I have the digital pack, so that's why they kind of look a little different because they were printed and cut on the Cricut. Yes, they're so pretty. I love them. I'm going to have to make myself some. Aww. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed my embellishment process. I love making embellishments and I have so much inspiration from Ada the Paper Treasury. Thank you because your embellishments always come out so amazing and you are a great inspiration. Thank you. And I hope you ladies that see these try them out and I'd love to see what you come up with. And This digital pack or even this collection is my favorite. Thank you guys for stopping by. Until next time.